one thing for sure about the shelter. It sure does have a lot of beautiful wildflowers around it. Absolutely gorgeous. The Over Mountain Shelter. It's a, a barn that was used uh, in a movie, uh, The Winter People. And it's been converted to a uh, hiker shelter now. And uh, boy, I tell you, this cold front that came in really spanked my ass. I'm gonna call it a day. It's uh, 4.35. I'm soaking wet. Just take a look around for crying out loud. Yeah, yeah. if you didn't know any better, you'd say you were in the Scottish Highlands for, for crying out loud. So, it's all good. I lost a few of my feathers you know, in the storm. Here we are. Not, still not quite the summit of uh, Hump Mountain, but uh, very close. We're coming through another one of those uh, livestock barricades, and I and I have to admit, I know many have uh, have offered commentary of of some of my horse-like uh, appearances, but uh, and I tell you. You know, this, this here contraption is very difficult for me to cross. Not to saying I'm a horse, or a goat, or a cow. Sometimes a bit bullheaded. I mean, who else would spend a, a lovely Saturday uh, like this? Besides me. 
and a whole lot of other people. I'm not really crossing a lot of people today, but I know they're out there. I know you're out there, and I will see you soon. Here we are as we are rounding up the mountain and concluding this part of the journey northward in the, in the uh, last section of the high Rhone Mountain region, a range, if you will, and uh, much less, uh, or much more featureless, this area in the driving rain as it was uh, coming up here in the various uh, you know, rocks and, uh, and uh, incline of uh, the upcoming events. And I just wanted to say, as I have pondered my trek here to the top, you know, and it's all about choice, choices, the choices that we have made in the past helps mold the people that we have become and the choices that we make each day, you know, guide us on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and our future choices, you know, creates the human beings that we will become. And all of you, as I embrace the billions of you, I say to you, let us all join hands and rejoice in, into this day and into the future, future days of every day of this day of, uh, uh, alone that will make us who we are, who we are, and who we will be. And I also want to thank, as I am not sure if I'm still in North Carolina, I will be leaving North Carolina and into Tennessee uh, briefly before I make my way into Virginia. month trip here on uh, Appalachian Trail starting from uh, Springer Mountain in the south. And, uh, my journey is, is only my journey, the pace that I have taken and the choices that I have made brought me right here at this very moment. Not to say I'm hyperthermic, my body puts out some serious, serious BTUs. I put out some heat. Anyone that has uh, known me in that way will, will attest to it. Uh, but all the same, I'd like to try to dry out my boots, even if it's for a day. Man, I'd like to sit down and eat some warm pizza. And they, these are the choices that I will be making in my future, in my very, very, very soon future. And I embellish it. I, I, I look forward to it. A nice, fresh delivery warm pizza. And hey, if, and if that gets me through another day and where I'm still on this earth, alive, healthy, well, and happy, so be it. And I encourage you all the same charm and karma. Put my ghost walker. Oh, did I mention my Sony Cybershot TX5 is waterproof? <laughs>